Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a computer audio interface with Reaper. Now, the purpose of using an external computer audio interface is so that we can get more inputs and outputs into our computer and therefore into Reaper. Whether it's a simple two input, two output interface or a much bigger professional interface with many more inputs and outputs, the process of making it work is essentially the same. You'll start by reading the instructions that come with your unit. Some require extensions or installers to get them working, while others are simply plug and play, USB or similar. Definitely check out the manuals that come with your unit and follow them and install anything necessary. Once everything is installed and plugged in, we can open Reaper and go up here to the audio device settings. Then we could choose on the audio device, the unit we want to use. For me, I'm going to choose this one, hit OK, and it should be working. So if we create a new track over here, we can go to our input, and we should see the inputs for that unit. My interface has four analog inputs and four outputs, which we could see by going to the routing. And the master parent send is sending to one and two. We could also choose it over here under our hardware outputs, either in stereo, analog one and two, two and three, or three and four. Or we could do it mono one at a time. But we could also see this if we go to the view menu and choose the routing matrix. Let's create a few more tracks. And we could see our tracks right over here, one through four. And they're being sent out the master parent send which is going to one and two on our interface, which is most likely where your speakers are plugged into. We could switch it to two and three, or three and four, or individually one, two, three, or four. Or we could send it to all of them just by dragging. Now we could also send each track directly to a different output right from here. So we could send track one out to output one, two to two, and so on. If you wanted to send each track to their own separate output. And the inputs show up here as well, right over here. So right now, all the inputs are set to input one, but we could change it so that track one is input one, track two is input two, and so on. So we could change our inputs from here or from over here. Now, if we wanted to name our inputs and outputs, we could do that as well. Let's go back up here to the audio device settings and just choose the audio preferences. Then we can go down over here to input channel name and choose it. And we can name our inputs right here. Let's change this to kick and maybe snare. Maybe a vocal, maybe a guitar. And they're all going to show up on our inputs over here kick, snare, vocal, or guitar. And they also show up in the routing matrix right here. So if on track four, we want to record the kick, just switch it right here. And track four is set to record the kick. And we can change the output names as well. Over here. Just check this, go into this. And let's change this to main left and main right, which is where your speakers are probably plugged into. Maybe three and four off of headphones. Headphones left and headphones right. And now that's going to show up as well, right over here. Main left and right, headphones left and right, and the individual outputs 
over here. So anyway, that's how you set up and use a computer audio interface in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom?